The average person has no idea how many species of songbirds there are. I mean, we trap and band, you know, over a hundred species, and and then you get to, you know, you get to show them fifteen or twenty species, you know, in one morning. So yeah, when we catch a bird, we do bring it back to a centralized place. So with songbirds, for example, we have the the banding station. We have the ten nets spread out in the shrubs, and every half an hour we go to collect the birds and bring them back. Um, and the first thing that we do when we remove them from the carrying bag is to put the band on um, because that is the key piece in identifying individuals. You know, it's a lightweight aluminum band that is a fraction of a percent of their body mass. And we take a wing measurement and a tail measurement and also a body mass measurement. And those are really important just to get a sense of the bird's general size. And then we measure or assess some other things, including their fat store, which is their fuel for migration, uh, their muscle buildup, because a lot of these birds during migration will actually add muscle mass to help power their flights. Um, and then we'll look at their body molt, their flight feather molt, and their feather condition. It is maybe sometimes easy for us as humans to think of ourselves as separate from nature. And so if something's affecting a bird population, well, how does that affect me? But if you understand ecology and that everything is related and that we are relying on these natural environments, um, you know, everything from sunlight to moisture to the nutrients in the soil, um, that if we see alarming trends in common bird species, which we actually have seen, we see that some relatively common species, even American robin and eastern meadowlark and some other species have been declining, as well as some species we think of as more endangered. And those are all I guess you could say measuring sticks to tell us about the health of the planet. I mentioned earlier, you know, I like to use the word connectivity all the time because um, I think once people are made aware, you know, once they're made aware of those requirements of, uh, you know, of a yellow warbler, say, that breeds in Alaska and winters in Brazil or somewhere like that, once they're made aware of those, those needs and those requirements of that species, I think that uh, you know, you've just scored a big, uh, you know, a big point for uh, for conservation in the future because because um, really half the battle is awareness. Okay, I'm going to take another picture of T. Keep your beer bottle down because I saw it. I'll show it to you. No, it's okay. You're in the picture. I don't know if I can. I've never tried it. It's okay. You're in the picture. I don't know if I can.